For the past 10 years, I've eaten pretty much the same exact thing every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner on repeat. You might think that this is boring, and you're absolutely right, but it's boring on purpose. One of the things that I appreciate most about living a simple lifestyle is putting as many decisions as possible on autopilot. That's why I wear the same thing every day, do the same workouts every day, stick to a consistent work schedule each day, and stay with my wife. Just kidding, it's because her parents are rich. But one of the most important areas I've been able to automate is what I eat. If you can find ways to repeat what you eat, you'll remove decision fatigue, feel better, and make healthier decisions on autopilot. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, more on them later. All right, so today for breakfast, I am gonna be eating some chicken, some green beans, a couple eggs, and a green smoothie. About 10 years ago, just before I got into minimalism, I remember often being intimidated by all the amazing meals and recipes friends and influencers shared online. Pork tenderloin with three berry salsa, slow simmered burgundy beef stew, sea stuffed salmon fillets. Now don't get me wrong, all these recipes sound freaking delicious, but if you regularly reinvent what you're eating, you have a lot of work to do. You've gotta search for new recipes, shop random aisles of the grocery store you've never been down, cook each of these meals from scratch, and try to actually use all the ingredients before they go bad. Not to mention, if you're trying to get in shape, you've gotta keep an eye on your macronutrient breakdown. Are you getting enough carbs, proteins, and fats with your diet? I should probably write this down. And so at some point, I just decided, you know what, I'm not great at cooking. What did you do to that steak? <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to plan my meals. I don't get a ton of joy out of cooking, and I'm not a picky eater. So why don't I just eat the same thing every day? And that's what I started doing. I picked up the basics of cooking, found a few meals that would allow me to reach my goals, and I stopped caring about what everyone else was eating and just focused on the plate in front of me. And isn't that a great metaphor for life? All right, so it's time for lunch. Whoa, <laughs> what the fuck? So after almost killing myself, we're cooking up some steak here. Look at that, those grill marks. It was worth a life or death experience, I'll tell you what. I've also got some more green beans and some rice for lunch. So I don't microwave every single meal because that would be a little bit depressing. So here I've actually just undercooked my steak. I've cooked a few of them in a batch and now I'm cooking it to get to the right internal temp so I don't die. By the way, I've actually been thinking about going vegan for 30 days, so if you want me to try that, let me know down in the comments below. But for now, I eat steak. I understand that my approach to nutrition isn't going to align with everyone. If you're someone who gets a lot of joy from exploring and cooking new recipes, then you should totally lean into that. Most people wouldn't want to wear the same shirt every day, but I'm guessing if it's worked well for me for so long, it might also help others as well. Figuring out a few staple meals and repeating them has made my life so much easier. While eating the same thing every day might seem boring, it means that I have very little meal planning to do, I almost never have to put together a grocery list, my shopping is effortless, and cooking is relatively painless. Whoa. <laughs> relatively. Really for me, the biggest benefit is that it's one less thing that I have to think about every day. We make 35,000 decisions every single day, but when it comes to my daily routine, I don't have to think about what I'm gonna wear. I don't have to think about the workout I'm gonna do today, how my work is gonna be structured, who I'm married to. I don't have to think about what I'm gonna eat every day. And to me, that takes a whole lot of mental strain, a lot of decision-making off of my plate pun intended, to be able to focus on the things that really matter and that really need my attention. I always finish up my workouts with a vegan protein shake. This is what I'm using these days. I used to use the whey protein, but it just really upsets my stomach. So I try to avoid it and I always get it all over the place. Before I go any further, I just wanna thank my good friends over at Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I've been using them for years and this is leaking uh, to make websites, and I think you should give them a try. Let's say I wanted to start a food blog. Well, I'd simply head over to squarespace.com and grab the domain name, whatsmetcooking.com. Then choose from one of their beautiful templates to get started and get right to work. You don't need to learn any code and you don't need any experience as a designer. Easily add photos, drop in a logo, and write your first few blog posts. In this case, I'm just gonna share the same recipe in every blog post I write. Why reinvent the wheel? 
If you're looking for your website to do a little bit more, you can scale your business with detailed analytics, take advantage of scheduled posts to create some content runway, and even open up your very own e-commerce store. Maybe you could even sell a cookbook with one recipe in it. Visit squarespace.com today for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. When you support Squarespace by clicking the link in the description below this video, you're also supporting this channel. So thank you and thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. About 80% of my meals are consistent from week to week and they look just like this. A protein, I usually go for chicken, but often swap out for fish or beef. And then I have a small side of rice and a large side of green veggies. I typically go for asparagus, green beans, or spinach. All of this is cooked on the stove top, often in batches each week to save time. I try to get the best quality ingredients for everything. So I try to make sure it's organic, grass fed, free range, and all of that. I've been making the same daily smoothie for about 10 years now, and it's one of the smallest habits that's given me the greatest return. I'll make batches of three smoothies twice a week, and it covers me for six days. The recipe has stayed largely consistent since I made my first one. Shout out to my mom for the recipe. I start out with a ton of spinach, then add oranges, bananas, apples. And recently I've started to up my protein intake by using Greek yogurt. And I know what you're thinking, Matt, you don't need any more protein. But here's what I say to that. What I eat is based upon my goals. So I go to the gym about five to six days a week to lift weights. And so I need a lot of protein to help me reach my strength goals. Most fitness experts suggest that you eat one gram of protein per one pound that you weigh. And since I weigh 160 pounds, that'd be about 160 grams of protein I'm supposed to eat every day. I try to get as close as I can. And if I fall short, as I often do, I'm totally okay with that. That's one of the other hidden benefits of eating the same thing every day. If you're trying to get really intentional with your macronutrient intake, it can be time consuming and really annoying to count every single carb, fat, and protein. But when you eat the same thing for most meals, you really don't have to do a lot of math because the macronutrient content in most meals will be identical. Okay, so I'm really excited about dinner. I did something a little bit different tonight. I went with an eight hour slow roasted pork with a side of, I'm just kidding. It's the same as what I've been eating all day. So we've got your chicken, rice, more green beans, and a smoothie on the side. Yum. Some people think it's weird that Nat and I don't eat the same meals for dinner. She's out of town right now, which is why I'm eating by myself. We just have different tastes and we have uh, different preferences. She does her meal prep stuff. Uh, it doesn't really work with my diet and my goals and what I'm looking to get out of my nutrition plan. We usually eat together, but we eat completely separate things. And this is what I eat almost every day. And listen, I'm sure there will be some pushback from people, whether it's complaining about a lack of variety, me eating carbs or too much protein but this works for me. And how else do you think I'm gonna get biceps like these? There's so much power to finding a formula that works for you. So while you might not have the goal to build the biggest biceps on YouTube, you can still find a lot of benefits from keeping a more consistent meal schedule. And it's honestly not as boring as it sounds because while 80% of my meals are nearly identical, with that extra 20%, I can venture off and break free from my typical meal plan. Sometimes I eat granola and fruit for breakfast. Other times I skip breakfast completely. A couple of times a week I eat tuna fish for lunch. And on top of that, Nat and I often eat out roughly two times per week. This is really where I can explore new foods from chicken feet to meat pies to Yorkshire pudding and nasi lemak. I don't really hold myself back and I rarely count calories when we're eating out. You know what? The flavor is really nice. Yeah. So I guess you can eat the same thing every single day without it getting really boring. How do I do it? You gotta squirt it on top. Just right on the top or on the Just on the, on the on base? The, on, no, 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 not on the base, you animal. Not the, at the bottom. You gotta squirt it on the lid of the meat pie, like the top. Okay, I see. Oh my God. How do you it's open not, this up? It's on a peel. Squeeze on. Oh, you, you just gotta, squeeze it like that? Yeah, yeah. It, oh. oh my God. Oh. I can't handle this. I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, it's meat in a pie. It really delivers good. on its promise, doesn't it? It really does. 